Uh, this is Tony again from the Fraser Museum, and um, I thought it might be nice to play with stuff that you have outside. So I realized that down the street from me, there is a magnolia tree. And if you have one near you, they're dropping all of their petals, all their pink and purple petals, all over the ground. And I looked at them and I thought, you know, we could, we could do an art project with that. So I collected a bunch of petals and I thought maybe we could make some artwork together. I'm going to put some things together and maybe show you how some things can overlap and um, maybe make, um, I don't know, an animal or something, because there's all those colors. And pick up if you've got dandelions or if you've got blades of grass or anything that's got color and shape. Pick that up and let's play with it. Let's see what happens. So let's say maybe what you found is a bunch of, as I did, magnolia leaves. What can you do with a bunch of magnolia leaves? Well, I found some stems from um, some dandelions and some stems and things as well. And what I thought, what I was playing around with, is maybe if you found something like this that had color, like these leaves, these petals, these are big petals too, maybe you could overlap them. So let's say we overlap them kind of like this and maybe make another row overlapping oops overlapping the same way and we keep making rows that overlap you get kind of the body of something and that looks kind of like feathers doesn't it there's a plane going over so you could overlap them and they look kind of like feathers don't they and that one's kind of brown but okay that's fine and maybe you make some more and put some more feathers in there. And if you notice, there's white, at least on these, there's white on the other side. So it always helps to look at what both sides of whatever you have, look at them and feel them and see. And I noticed that this has white. So maybe, just maybe, I could put the white there. And maybe, oh, let's see, another small one, maybe. Let's say there's some white here, and then another white up here, maybe. And it's starting to take a shape. It looks kind of like an animal now, doesn't it? Well, it does to me, at least. And maybe, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Maybe that's a head or something, right? Maybe that could be an animal's head. And then maybe if you want to put some legs down here, look, I've got a stem right there. There's a long stem, so we'll make that one go like this. You know how those how they stand on one leg? So there's one leg kind of crossed and whatnot. Maybe those are his feet. Look at that, maybe he's got little yellow feet. But he might need an eye. Let's see, maybe we could make an eye. Let's put some yellow up there, too. Ooh, that would be a nice eye right there. Look at that. And so anyway, just using... Ooh. Look at that. that looks good, too. Just using the things that you find. And it could be anything. It could be pine needles or pine cones or rocks or grass. But you could make a picture. I'd love to see what you guys create. So send some pictures to education at frasermuseum.org. So here is another selection of things that I found if you don't have magnolias um, in your neighborhood. This is just grass and dandelions and look, I found a couple of seed pods from um, milkweed. If you squash them down, they look kind of like boats, don't they? And these dandelions look kind of like trees so maybe we could do a scene look there's like a there's like some trees these are dandelion leaves they're edible too i wouldn't suggest you eat them without washing them though particularly if you're putting them on the ground but look there maybe there's a, there's some trees there and if there's a boat there needs to be water so let's Let's make some waves with the, the, 
the grass. Oh, look, there's a good wave. The wind's kind of taking it. And there's, let's see. There's a really good wave right there. And there's a boat that's going right up there. Maybe. Look, see, there's a boat. There's another wave. Another boat. Maybe it's like they're in a race or something, right? Smush that. Let's smush it so we get. There we go. And maybe a little bit more water. There we go. Now we're starting to look like a scene with some trees and some boats racing. Oh, maybe one of them wants a sail. Look at that. Maybe we can use, I don't know, maybe the sun's coming up. Let's say the sun's just come up. Right there. Looking over this race with these boats. You see it? There's a boat there and a boat here with a sail. The sun's coming up and the trees and here's the water and the waves. Again, it's just stuff that you find around, you know, in your neighborhood. So do, please send us pictures. I'm going to make another one here. Um, send us pictures uh, if you decide you want to play with stuff you find in your neighborhood. So for this one, I just used those uh, milkweed pieces. I thought when you, when you split one, it looked kind of like rabbit ears. So to me, this looks like a rabbit watching the sunrise. But um, look, there's a little crocus. My favorite flower, one of my favorite flowers in the world. And I, I used little dandelions for his tail, but maybe he's just sitting there, looking through the grass at the at the sunrise or something. Just another thought.